Hello, G.I. Joe Classified His Tank Backers. We are so excited to be here with you today. Indeed. Emily and Lenny. In case you don't know us for whatever reason. And we are here today to show you the very first unboxing video of the G.I. Joe Classified series Cobra Hiss Haslab. And we are very excited to open this thing up and show you what's inside. We sure are. I know people have been waiting for a while, so. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. First off, before we actually open the box itself, so this will come to you in a, a sh an outside shipper box yep. so that it is nicely protected. And it'll say stuff on it. It right? will. It'll say his tank on yeah, it. Yeah, so you'll know what's coming. Yes. Um, and then the before we actually open the box, let's take a look at this beautiful artwork. Like this is gorgeous. Oh, start on this end because this oh. is where the picture oh, starts. Yeah. So this is a wraparound piece of panoramic artwork it's that amazing. is beautiful. And then we, uh, nope, this way. This way? Yep. All right. We're getting See? used to these cameras. Yeah. There. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I love the way the artist captured the glow. Yeah. It's really cool. And it gives us, like, um, intense mission vibe. Yes. That we all fell in love with when the graphics team was showing us the artwork and how it's coming out. Do, 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 how cool do. that is. It keeps going. There's more. I know you guys were like, they probably used the There's... same artwork on both sides. Sure didn't. Why would we do that? It, yeah. When you can go all the way, you might as well. Well, you may as well. And we then should also spin around top so of they the can box. see. Yeah, so they can see all the spot Ooh. gloss. Ooh, the spot gloss is nice. I don't know if that's going to come up. Maybe if I go like this. There it is. Yep, yeah, there's perfect. that like, varnishing that's on the red logo. And I love that logo. Graphic team really dove into like all the different kind of logos yep. we can make. Some of the old school logos okay. they incorporated. While we're, while we're thinking about that, let's do a flippy route oh, this way. Oh, yeah. This is really cool. The skim. Yeah, love the skim on the bottom. Look at that. As a kid, I always loved G.I. Joe skims because it was all this kind of like fantasy copy of what it was, what it did. And we kind of captured that here. And I think the team did an incredible job yeah. at that. It looks sick. It was so much fun. Mark, our brand writer, went in and was labeling things. And he was so excited about yeah. getting to name stuff. And it was yeah. it was incredible. It's kind of the fun part about being on G.I. Joe. Yeah. It's like you can like let your imagination run wild and yes. the team is certainly doing that here. Oh, 100%. So just so that you guys know, so we have pre-cut open one of the ends. When it comes to you, all of the ends will be sealed, factory sealed. Yep. Um, so we cheated a little bit. With these little tab stickers, yep. those nice little, and they come off very nicely as I just pulled one off and it did not yep. do any damage to your box. I pulled it off right from there. All right. All right, let's open this bad opener. boy up. All right. All right, and it comes open just like that. If we oh, get it in frame. Oh, nice artwork. And then, flap open like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it like this. Mm -hmm. And then actually, let me show you guys real quick. Oh yeah, what's on the inside? There are tabs. So on this top is going to be your figure box and here is the tank. So do you want me to this. grab an angle? Uh, actually, I think I might be able to get it. So basically, oh, that's very tall. Okay. Like that. I believe in you. And I think you guys, the cameraman can probably get <laughs> the box. So then that's the figure box. Beautiful. That awesome Cobra logo on there. They're like kind of stark, just Cobra. Gorgeous. Yeah. And then you can see here, we can pull the tank out. And now that the suction has released, released, yeah, that's, released that's nice. a little bit. It is a, like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> snug fit, but it's keeping your tank safe for shipping. Yeah. So this box is, is awesome. So I'll put this right here. Um, be, should we do tank first and then figures? I think we should do tank okay, first. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put these down here for a second. Let's give this internal box a little spin. Ooh. We've got the logo on the front. I love this snake We logo. were very pro logo on this HasLab. They and I feel berserk. like it was amazing. So Mark on our design team, Mark from HasLab, That's right. uh, had all of these gorgeous logos commissioned that we used all over this project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so like Lenny has one on the 788 shirt. I have one on our our his staff yeah, sweatshirt that back. I'm wearing. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think my back has the the skims from the back of the box, which is pretty oh, I cool. Love that. Yeah, it's cool. Um, these were only for us. I'm sorry, but you can still <laughs> order Lenny's shirt online. Yeah. Available exclusively on HasbroPulse.com. So all right, so let's open this bad boy up. So like a kind of like a treasure chest, if you would. Ooh. Opens just like that. <laughs> so then. <laughs> Let's flip it this way so people can see what's inside of that. Gorgeous. And I think these guys can see the top camera too. Yep. As well. Here so we can, can, I think we should be roughly centered. Right, I think that's pretty much centered. We're estimating. So as you can see inside of here, there is this kind of cardboard insert on top. It's going to protect the tank from all the, it's not going to move in shipment, which yep. is great. And then we have the pieces uh, placed inside of these kind of like cavities that keep it secure so it doesn't rattle around in uh, transit. Uh, over here, you'll see that these are the swappable top. Mm -hmm for the tank for the retro tank, top uh, yeah for the cockpit this yep. is the retro top and then we have our uh 
retro side, if you yep. would, than the uh, classified. Uh, having a brain fart. <laughs> oh, tread, tread covers? Tread covers. Tread covers. Thank you. That was Thank a variant of much. what they were supposed yes. to be named. Somebody will let us know in the comments. Yeah. So the tr yeah. tread covers, this is the classified yep. and this here, is you the want to hand, start handing retro. Me over there here. you go. And then here is the actual canopy for the classified styling with the red sides. sides going the, doors. The going doors, which look super cool on it. There you go. And this is the classic one from the retro styling. Nailed it. Anything else to pull out? There is more. So we also have more. the, uh, I believe they are called the- Chin guns? The, we call them chin guns as a slang when we talk about yeah. design and like engineering. Uh, they have a really cool name that's- They do what's on the right back now. of the box that you can find when you- can you, read. you can read this. <laughs> or I bet you a dollar that Mark is in the comment section being like, oh, you sweet idiots, this is what they're called. <laughs> this is exactly what's happening. <laughs> so yeah, they look really cool. And they are also, if you can tell, they're, they're um, held in a blister to make sure that the guns stay nice and intact yep. during shipment. Uh, and of course, we have the other retro side as well. Perfect. So everything's nice and packed tight inside. Heck yes, it is. So now what you're going to want to do is, is remove this awesome thing. I always kind of keep these with the intent to make like a little battle scene. That'd be fun. Uh, and then I never do because I always work. <laughs> <laughs> you have good intentions though, and I, I do. think that's what counts. I do. Um, so as you guys can see here from the top camera, there is the tank, and I'll even pick it up a little bit too so we can see it in the, this camera nice. as well. Look at all that stuff kind of contained in there, and there's that corrugated cardboard. This HasLab really came with a lot of stuff. It does come with a lot of stuff, and it is packed in there very nicely, I must say. So let's start by, I'm going to spin this guy this way so I can see what's going on and get this big old flap out of the way. Um, so we have our... Uh, ground air missiles here, as you can see, they're also contained in plastic as well. The other side as well, looks really sweet. Emily will start opening those up as I, I take them out. I'd like to take a moment to apologize to one of our engineers, Cameron, uh, because we technically did not ask before borrowing this and opening it. <laughs> so I will replace it with a new one fresh in the box for yes. when he sees this and is disappointed with yeah. our choices. Yep, and this is actually yep. one of our, this is our final, final sample. It is, yeah. So this is the most finished it's gonna be and this is what you guys are gonna get. Um, so this is the twin laser cannons that go on top of the tank. Emily will take these out of the box. Beautiful. Out of the bag. I rather. love that this is my job. This is like Christmas. <laughs> I, it's great. Mm. And then we have our shield and our Gatling guns that also go on to the gunner box or gunner canopy, if you would. Uh, let's take this bad boy out. All right. Like I've been you need saying. A second hand? It's the size of Pomeranian or Chihuahua, if it you is. would. I think my dog is roughly that size, actually. Look at the size yeah. of this thing. It's enormous. So let's get this guy on the table. Let's wow, put these this are a really nice black ground. color. All right, so here we go. Here is the Hiss tank. We're gonna put it together. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really it looks nice. It's really cool. Before it's together, let's look at some internal details. So as you can see here, the gunner box, which I'll show to you guys right there, it fully rotates. And if you notice, there's a bunch of, there, I believe they're five millimeter ports so you can put your guns, weapons, and accessories on there. Uh, we also have the inner cockpit that you can see really nicely because the cockpit door is not on there but you can see the adjustable um, uh, seat belt, which is really cool. We also have internally, I think it might be, what's the best camera for this? Up, maybe? Maybe up. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see it, if I'm showing it right, but we have the uh, HUD on there, that's, which will light up. We don't have batteries in it. You have to put those in after you get ah, it. So actually, interesting story. I just got a question about whether the His Tank would be coming with batteries or not. So we actually have a reason why it is not coming with batteries. We know that for, especially for like van collector focused items, that sometimes you don't open these for a really long time. And you know what batteries do over time? They corrode, <laughs> yeah. they rust, they yeah. get really gross. Oh, that'd and, be a problem. Right, and mm -hmm. so we actually purposefully don't include batteries with the majority of our fan-focused electronic items at Hasbro so that you won't have that experience. You can always put fresh batteries in it. You never have to worry that you're gonna get, buy one of these in 10 years and go- Have a corrosive battery Yeah, box. and not be able to actually use it. So we did this on purpose. Okay, please oh, continue. That I was a, that. a, right, there <laughs> yeah, we go. You learned something every day. <laughs> um, so also inside the cockpit, if we go back to it, uh, there is the, I don't know if we can see those, but there's the gear shifts in there, which do articulate. It's a hard angle to get. Yep. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so those are the um, thrusters, if you will. Uh, they do articulate, which is super fun. And then the joystick on the other side, maybe I'll spin it this mm. way. 
me see if I can get in there. And yeah, doing this upside down, you know what I mean? As you can see here, this is the joystick, and the joystick does articulate. My finger's covering it, but the tolerance is really nice in that joystick. So, really cool. And then, as you guys remembered, we did have the guys remembered as you guys probably remember <laughs> we have the uh, oh they, they always remember yeah, you you guys always remember the ladders on the side yeah. that articulate down and they snap into place when they are put on the side which is really cool so um and then of course we got that really cool oh, tank it's roll, gorgeous which is super fun so i've been talking about this thing before we put it together okay here's let's put it together here's a question for you as we're assembling this red piece towards the front or red piece towards the back let me see this Red one. piece towards the front. Great. That was how I did this one. It was a trick question. Did you actually know? I did. There <laughs> I have a tendency to have to look at something um, before I... Which canopy would you like? Uh, let's do classified. Okay. Let's go classified first. Go for it. So then here we go. This is the canopy. Uh, you'll see there is kind of like a detent, two detents on either side on the top. I don't know if the top camera's catching that, but I would take those two little nibs. We're going to pop that right in there. Go like this and do it. Pops right in. Oh, that's so much nicer on a final model than the painted oh, yeah, model, where yeah. I was always terrified the to do that. The we go through. So many to, models. Like, get to the final. Um, so then, as you can see here, you kind of can pull that up, and then Beautiful. it snaps right in there. Satisfying. Do a little bit of adjustment. Of course. And then let's put on the tread covers. Okay. Classified, please. Uh, yep. 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 And then you'll notice that there are. Uh, these bosses on the side. The bosses just have to line up with some of the, tre Super the tread easy wheels to put on. and then you're good to go. While we have that side open, do you want to put some cannons on? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do want to put some right cannons side. on here. Oh. And then uh, oh, yeah, show the, right. the, the, the uh, so, flappy thing. We've, that's been not the you guys name about, for it. we've been talking to you guys about this. We have these <laughs> flappy things and I'm hoping that the top camera will catch this, but you can open these up and that's where the ground to air missile uh, mounts will go. You get to plug it right in there. I hope that everybody at home is really enjoying our very technical jargon today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so let's do the other side now. Yep. I'll flip it just like that. And of course, if there's logos all over this thing. We want it to feel very tactical and yeah. very uh, like in mission. And we um, won't go into all the details about those because I think part of the fun is kind of exploring and yeah. finding things as you go. So let us know. There are a couple of Easter eggs hidden on this. Let us know what you find, what you get excited about. Yeah. Okay. Please. I'm sorry. Please continue. You're doing so good. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't come across yeah. that way. No. Uh, so if you guys noticed too, there's also a lot of extra details you didn't see in the other videos of like they're called mold etching to get some cool pattern work on there. I don't know if it comes up in this camera. It's also or the top camera. It's a little bit hard to see on camera because it's black on black. Yeah. But once you get it in hand, I think that you'll all be very pleased with yeah. the just the amount of as Lenny refers to it, the greeble that's on Grable. this. Greeble. Uh, yeah, it's like these cool ghosted in details, you know, it like kind of adds that little extra oomph. Um, so there we have our ground air missiles on okay. the front. Look at that thing. It's look, already looking super menacing. You want to do... Let's do the cannons, okay. the twin cannons. Yeah, so the twin cannons go on the... There's the two five millimeter posts that it plugs into on the top. I don't know if it's... Again, do you want to turn it black. around? It's all black, right? Yeah. So then that has to face, you want to make sure that the handlebars face Are, in too. Yep. And then that snaps right onto. Oh, Doing so great. Because I'm not even putting them on, that's why. There we go. <laughs> and they have a really nice tolerance to bite in, which is super nice. And of course. Oh, that ratchet. Ooh, I love oh, ratcheting, that's a good man. ratchet. When you get a good ratchet on a product. That's satisfying. Oh, that. yeah, that's good. That's really cool. And then they go down on both sides. What's nice is you can kind of hold different, and they're not going to fall over time. They're yep. going to hold. They're going to retain that position. And then, so this is a piece that we actually added a little bit later in the campaign because we got feedback from fans saying, "What is somebody doing standing up there unprotected <laughs> while people shoot at them?" Yeah. So we created, Mark created the shield piece yep. so that they are actually safe. Hundred yeah. percent. And you know, we talked about adding a big old dome and like a cage, and it just kind of took away from the silhouette of what a hiss tank is. Yep. So we did it. But uh, Mark is smart enough to go, we can shield them. Yeah, we sure can. So this, you'll notice there's uh, kind of cutouts on the side. And then the top of the, by the cannons, it goes into that like negative space. So let's snap that in there. 
What's that snap? Well, that was that was nice. That's the first time I've done that. That, that felt was, really good. That felt really I good. I love snapping. Yeah. It, like, <laughs> we hope, right. Please let us know how satisfied you are at home <laughs> when you hear this snapping noise as well. The satisfied. There's got to be a hashtag. Yes. Yeah. The satisfied. I don't know. It's, there's got to be like a, a combo word that we can a, a satis snap. Snap. Satis snapify. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then the Gatling guns and the mounts on the Gatling guns, those will plug right into the top on these. I believe they're six millimeter por uh, ports. Don't quote me. I believe the they're six one. meter. So then the second one goes on there. Look at this thing. It's Ooh, armored buddy, to the That's teeth. pretty. So then here's our chin cannons, our technical term. I say that it's not really the technical term. <laughs> None of these are the technical so terms. They're really nice. Um, if you notice here, this is where the button is too. So the twin cannons or the twin lasers in the front, they actually plug into the button that operates the, the, the Buttons the right here. Light buttons here. Oh, am I talking like a crazy person? Yeah, you are. Just, Can you guys just edit gently. That out? No, I love it. <laughs> so the so basically everything that you need to access the lights is right down by where the chin pot is. So the light itself is right here and you can maneuver this to make sure it's not blocking that light if you oh, have it on. That's right. So this is the maneuver button and then this is the I don't often get one up on Lenny like this, so I'm gonna insist that that's we leave this on because this is satisfying. And then the actual button to trigger <laughs> is here. And I think there's there what did we land on? Like eight or nine different light combinations on this? There is a lot. It's a it's a wild number of light combinations. Yeah. And I actually just remembered something. The reason why so on the bottom of this the reason why that feels like a button is so that when you don't have this in, it doesn't look like there's a giant hole. The space is filled. Yeah, and I remember yep. I remember Mark talking about that and I was like, you are so top smart. Of it. So smart. <laughs> it's incredible. All right. Well, so, this is a, a gorgeous tank, but you know what this tank needs? Wait, Some friends. We're not done yet. We're not done. We're not done yet. I'm there's sorry. More, I, I think we apologies. need to show my 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 <laughs> apologies. My fault. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Please, no, please continue. Not needed. Not needed. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's this take. This is how we talk all the time, even when we're not on camera. Oh. It's. I'm sure that we're very obnoxious to people. I'm sure we are. Yeah. Um, so take a look at this thing. It's awesome. It's armored to the teeth. Um, these even have telescoping, Ugh. so you can give Satisfying. a wider stance to it. Let's look super cool. I guess my black shirt isn't doing the doing it justice. So I'm gonna go like this. Oh, that's nice. Take a look at that. And this spins, spin this bad boy around. Look at how, I just love the way the light catches it. Yeah. The contours of this thing are, are, are on beautiful. point. The hard surface design uh, is really good. Mark, again, you did an awesome job, my dude. So let's turn this guy around. And again, look at all that, like the ghosting and the, the kind of like uh, hazard lines so that we pretty. added in there. And then what I wanted to show everybody was the back. Mm. So um, you notice here, this is the, the toe hook. The toe hook flips up and flips in. That way you can kind of like put it down for, I don't know, maybe an SMS. Oh, maybe. It can tell, call I me crazy. Mm, call, us cra um, call us crazy. <laughs> then here's our figure platform. Figures can stand on here. And then we don't have any figures on us that are out of box currently, but the handlebars are designed so figures can fit their hands around it tightly. Um, so we would, what we wanna do is we wanna flip this toe winch up. We wanna flip this stand up and we wanna pull this down from the tab right here. And then as you can see, that's the jump seat. I'll flip it this way first, the jump seat, which is adjustable. If I can, oh, as I take the seat off. And then, actually, I'll show that. So there's two little tabs on there, so you can take the jump seat out and you can plug it back in. You did that on purpose. I did do that on purpose, I swear. Oh, that's what I was grabbing. I was grabbing the wrong spot. So you can see the jump seat, it slides up and down depending on the height of the figure. Right, so because cer certain figures have different length of legs, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that they can actually touch the ground. Perfect. And then on the other side, that's the weapon rack. Hopefully I'm showing that. Yes, that's a good angle. Yeah, and then you can see there's, a, there's actually two loops that are vertical loops. That's where you could put uh, the gunner's hammer. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> and other melee sort of weapons. Yep. And then all those hooks is where you can kind of put your rifles and uh, your SMGs and all that sort of stuff. So I again, love that the, the classified philosophy of your, your stuff should be able to be carried at any time yeah. applies to vehicles too. Yeah, 100%, yeah, 100%. That's great. So let's put this stuff back up. Let's go like that. Spin this bad boy around. And the Hiss tank, it, I gotta say like, I've seen it a couple of times. So it's a, my first time unboxing it. So apologies for no. any of like the little no, hiccups. We're, we're excited. But this thing is 
amazing. I'm super excited about it. I love that we can take the Gatling guns off and give them to our figures within the line. We have handles on there for them so they can so they can gun them. Um, so in the, you know, we get excited. In the interest of time, you want to <laughs> yep. look at some figures? I do. Let's do it. So let's put this guy here. Oh, hold that up. Ah, I did to get it that the right way. <laughs> oh, except we're, okay, I'm going to trade you spots. So you hand let's me that. It. No, no, not actually. I'm standing on a box. You don't want Lenny on a box. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> Don't let him get on the box. <laughs> then he'd be Don't let him get on the box. <laughs> you could reach everything in the world and it would not be fair. Uh <laughs> That's, that's my reason for that. So we have our- I like our, how average height dude is yeah. good reach everywhere. <laughs> you can, I mean, compared to me, you can reach everywhere. You're amazing. Uh, like, reach could the you, camera. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> He's reaching the camera. That's incredible. All right. So um, figures, enough of that. so you guys know this item came with four classified figures. And that's right. because we are absolutely out of our minds, we promised them to you in full packaging. And they look kind of sick. So let's and get in do. here. So let's open this little, what's in the box? So you open the box up, Ooh. as you can see, oh, oh. as things fall out, there there's is. a cardboard rectangular box to make sure nothing flops around. Yep. There is this awesome label sheet for your tank so you can customize it however so you like. So we never actually showed you the label sheet. We so probably should, you, you want to do that now? So you do go, that, I'll do this. You go through the figures in the interest of time. Yeah. And, and what's then. also cool is there's this piece of, uh, I guess, wax paper to protect some of the covering on here, which is great. And then there's this piece, which we want to take out, because if you want to get the, if you want to get Cobra Commander out, you got to take the extra cardboard out to get them out. So there you go. Here's this little extra piece. We want to make sure nothing flopped around on you. So let's take the, let's go through the figures. We have the tactician, which I believe is figure 100, it right? It sure is. So we honored Ron Rudat with having his figure that he custom designed for us be number 100 in the classified series sequence. Yeah. So for those of you who may have missed it, the figures, the numbered figures, so Cobra Commander isn't numbered, but the numbered figures are numbered 99, 100, and 101 in the classified yeah. series and again, sequence. again, thank you, Ron, for yes. everything you have done for the G.I. Joe brand. Thank you so much. Um, so there we have our number... 99. 99. And we have number 101, which look awesome together. And again, is that they're backwards in. backwards and yeah. Yeah, right. it is. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about right. it. No, hey. math is hard. <laughs> so they look great together. That nice red pop. I love it on the black. And it really makes them set us, it sets them aside from the rest of the line so that you know they're special, which is yes. what I really like about it. The other thing that sets these uh, uh, kind of apart from the other figures, so note on these, um, the Ron Rudat box has artwork that he specifically created for us, but the other two figures are pulled from that box artwork, so it does, everything matches. And then on the back of these, you actually have some of those schematics um, like we have on the back of the box as well. So another thing to set these figures apart and be something to be really excited about. Yeah, they look awesome. All right, so now let's talk about... Oh, gosh, so nice. The Commander! <laughs> and my goodness. So we, just to note, you'll notice immediately, we have learned some lessons on the retro <laughs> card backs. Yes, you'll notice there is a white border on this. It is thicker cardstock. This is an unpunched figure. It looks crazy nice yeah look at this thing and yeah. it's, it's super rigid the white border is epically crisp it's got a little piece of dust on it let me just whoop, whoop. there we go and again we have the file card in the back which is super fun and it is so specifically for this we don't want everybody to get excited for everything moving forward we got an an english language exception for this item mm -hmm. so the back file card is an english language only file card on this however just to note our main line the card backs that we will be putting into main line for the next year, those are still five language card backs. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. Awesome. But again, you can see Commander in here with the misprint Cobra logo. Super exciting, super kind of goofy, but Amazing. awesome at the same time. We were so excited about this. Yeah. And I feel like everybody else kind of was too. Yeah, I was excited yeah. to design it and to get into all the little details too. And you know, like we focused on him, like the coil of Cobra will be around the world. And Beautiful. that's my terrible Cobra Commander It was voice. amazing, you did um, good. But yeah, so here he is in the awesome card art that the guys had created. It's got a really cool halftone pattern on there too, which gives it a little retro feel, which I love. Um, yeah, this figure's exciting, I, and he's on my shelf already. I've posted it online. I'm sure people have already seen it. People are like, how'd you get that figure? I'm like, kind of work on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> so, it's a me yeah. thing. Yeah. So, um, so then in the, the other two pieces that came with this, we have our instructions. Look at this. Oh, full boom. Yeah. Mm, that looks nice. 
Take a look at that. That's gorgeous. I love the schematic vibe of it. It makes me feel old school GI Joe yeah. but at the same time with the classified vibe. The, the instructions team is doing a really good job with these graphic designs. And the walkthrough is very, very, very plain to see and easy to understand. Informative. Informative. Yes. yes. And then the other thing that we actually haven't showed you guys, but we know our GI Joe fans love some good stickers and decals. So we are including a sticker sheet so that you can customize your His Tank. So there are additional decals, including that amazing Cobra His logo, some more of those 788s. We have some uh, Cobra misprints on there as well. But then numbers so that you really can, if you have multiple tanks or you really want to customize what numbers you have on them, you are welcome to do so. Yeah, and I love the, um, you know, when we were talking about like the kind of numbers we wanted to do, and you notice on the His tank, it's not like a stark red. Uh, Mark and I were like having a conversation about what do we update the font? Mm -hmm. And the we kind of came to this middle ground. We gave it this like almost like 80s action movie military vibe yes, with like amazing. the kind of grading. Reminds me of a lot of video it games. It still feels modern-ish, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, which yeah. it's a happy medium. Yes, yeah, and it, it's got that mm to yeah. it, which works so well for GI Joe. Love it. Um, yeah. So on that note, this is everything that you get in your Haslab. G, G, whoa. Let's line them up. GI Joe Classified Series Cobra Hiss Haslab. How was that? Did I do good? We got her. Whoop. Which, I mean, not too shabby, right, Lenny? I am really excited about it. It's a lot of stuff. You get four figures out of it. You get some customization with the different parts and pieces that you could put onto the Hiss tank. You can take these pieces off and put them onto your other regiments within your collection. Yeah. Uh, it's storytelling. It's, you know, playability. It's... And on behalf of the entire development team that worked on this item, we just want to say thank you for yes, supporting you so our much. HasLab. Thank you so much. And for everybody who worked on this, amazing job, guys. Like, this is truly, truly phenomenal craftsmanship for toys. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's awesome to work on. And I, I can't get to more, I can't wait to get to more of the vehicles. I yeah. think, because for GI Joe, the vehicles are like centerpieces. And I know as, when I was a kid, I would like would be pining for those like Christmas presents because I noticed when I would get them. So I just think it just it rounds the line out so much. And again, to echo what you're saying, thank you guys so much. Uh, we're thank excited. You. We're excited. <laughs> so you should be getting your. Uh, can I do it again? GI Joe Haslab class. Nope, I mixed it all up. <laughs> Whatever. Your his tanks are coming soon. Please be excited about it. We're excited about it. Yep. My five will be showing up on my doorstep. To go next to my five sky strikers I keep and my on five dragonflies. And my mom, and I'm like, that's the centerpiece for, uh, for any holidays for going forward. Yep, yep. Yeah. And all the other three are going. One yep. stays with me. The other three are going other places. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Yeah. Um, so again, thank you to everybody at home. Let us know in the comments how absolutely excited you are to get your classified his tank in hand. And I cannot wait to see what your shelf displays look like, what your holiday centerpieces look like, the <laughs> photography that you're going to take with these. It's got poinsettias it's coming out be... of it. <laughs> that sounds incredible. Make sure you don't have poinsettias. If you have a cat at home, they are poisonous. Oh, yeah. PSA. Boom. Take care of your cats. Yeah. Um, all right. So that was a weird note to close on, but I'm kind of here for it. Uh, anything else you want to say? Thank you and yep. enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. And we will see you guys later.